Hello, Score Holio organizers. This is Ben with Score Holio. I'm going to show you how to set up a scoreboard via an Android tablet, an iPad, um, really anything running the full app, which is what you see over here on the right. Now, if you have an Amazon Fire tablet, that's going to be a different tutorial because it doesn't get the full app. Those are just used for scoreboards. Um, in this case, this is the full app on the right. On the left, you can see I'm logged in as my organizer account here. So this is the tournament I'm going to be doing it on. It's a scoreboard tournament, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the admin of this tournament. Now, I have 11 teams here. I have not started the round robin. Um, they're just ready to go ahead and play a singles round robin. Um, on the right here, now you can go to run a tournament and you can log in there. And that will bring up the, all the tournaments that you're running under the find a tournament mine tab, um, which would be right here. Um, but I'm not going to log in to run a tournament on this tablet. Let's say that I'm making it a dedicated tablet. That's all I'm going to use it for with the app. Um, I don't want people to be able to go in to run a tournament and mess with my stat, my my admin stuff. So you, that's why everything can be done under find a tournament. Now, if you don't care, you know, it's for your backyard or whatever, go ahead and log into that run a tournament. You can use it to run a tournament and then set them all up as um, as courts as well through there. But um, on this one, I've got my filters. I've got my filter set to all here. So that way they all show up. And I'm going to go ahead and search for my scoreboard. Um, tournament that I have set up here, which is the same as on the left. And if you see um, on my dashboard, you know, if I went to the dashboard for this tournament, there's my list of players um, that are ready to play in it. And if I go back and go back to this again, um, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Um, oops, let me type in scoreboard here. And if I do and go into here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little icon here that looks like a scoreboard. And when I click on that scoreboard, it's going to bring up a bunch of different ones. Now, kiosk mode is a little different. That one's actually going to bring up all the courts for you. Um, remote mode is amazing. It's what I use here. Um, it is does take the advanced subscription of uh, Scoreholio, which is $9.99 a month. Um, but definitely take a look at that tutorial um, and ask about remote mode. Um, it is amazing. But if you're just doing the scoreboards, because this is the free version, you do not need to upgrade uh, your organizer account to be able to do it. You can always just click on scoreboard one here. Now it's going to ask you to log in. So that because I did not log in on the run a tournament tab, but if I did, it would have already had my information there. So I'm going to use the same email I'm running the tournament on the left with. Um, and go ahead and log in with my account here with my email. All right. So now that I'm logged in to uh, my scoreboard here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate this so that way we can have it uh, better for our um, you know tutorial here. And um, you'll notice that it's going to be uh, uh, red on the left and blue on the right. This is for free play, so you'll it, you know it's not tied to the it is tied to the tournament. You can see it right here. But this is before your tournament. You haven't started your tournament. Your players want to like play free play warm up games. It's just one for them to be able to play and reset and go ahead and do whatever they want to do. Now what you're going to do is on your tournament you're going to go ahead and click start tournament and you're going to notice it's going to go ahead and populate the courts and my tab tablet will turn over to the actual game where, you know, John and Kylie would go out there and they would play in this game. And as you notice, it goes up on the left as I get this tournament going on uh, the right with my scoreboards. And once I go ahead and submit that and John confirms, then it's going to go ahead and take them off and do the next thing. Now, once I go to my bracket and if I were to go ahead and create the bracket from the same tournament, you're going to notice that the system's going to go ahead and reset the scoreboards and put the next teams on. So it follows along with your tournament. Now, if this tournament was complete, which I'm going to go ahead and uh, trick the system, which you would not need to do, but that's what this game status, oh, excuse me, uh, with this game status is down here um, under advanced. If I were just to mark this as complete, like this tournament is over, and you would never need to do this because as you can see, 
as I was moving along the tournament, the system does it for you. Um, once that is marked as complete, it's going to go ahead and reset this. And now we're back to the free play mode, which um, is what you guys would be able to be able to play your cash games or whatever at the end of the tournament. Um, and, and the tournament is over. So you can see that the as you're going along, the scoreboards will go ahead and update along with your tournament. Um, if you do end up going ahead and doing your um, remote mode, uh, you know, you would go ahead and um, click there or, you know, if you wanted to turn yours into a kiosk mode um, and you had all three courts going, then you can do it that way as well. So that's uh, that's how you go ahead and score, turn your uh, phone, your tablets, Android tablets, your iOS, uh, iPads, or just a regular old phone that you want to dedicate into a scoreboard into them um, uh, using Scoreholio. It's easy peasy.